My name is Barbara Hammond and I'm Chair of West Oxford Community Renewables. We knew we wanted to develop renewable energy um, and we knew we wanted a range of projects. The question was how to fund that and when we started uh, there were no feed-in tariffs and in fact they weren't even on the horizon. So we thought could we combine the grants that were already available with raising money from the community through shares or whatever it would be, to make enough money to, to, to um, build the renewables and then get an income from selling the electricity and the renewables obligation certificates. And so given that we wanted to raise money through a share offer, it was going to be difficult to do that through Low Carbon West Oxford because by virtue of the fact that you're selling shares, it's the shareholders who start owning the organisation and we wanted Low Carbon West Oxford to be owned by the whole community. So what we decided to do was to develop Low Carbon West Oxford into a charity which would then be governed by the Charity Commission and would have trustees and would be free and open to the whole community to join. I'm Ian Carr, I'm business manager at Matthew Arnold School. About 18 months ago we were approached by Low Carbon West Oxford um, who wanted to see if the school would be interested in partnering them implementing renewable energy sources at school. This coincided quite nicely with the expression of interest from governors in the National Framework for Sustainable Schools and what we could do in that area. So I had a dialogue with Low Carbon West Oxford to see what would be possible here on the school site. We talked to governors about that. Uh, they were very keen. Their only condition was that it should be cost neutral. In terms of the size of this installation, it's a 100 kilowatt peak, which means that we've got uh, around 550 PV modules, panels, and those generate per annum projection 85,000 kilowatt hours of electricity a year. They're spread over three roofs in three different arrays. That'll save around 46 tonnes of carbon a year and it'll generate um, about 30% of the school's uh, electricity requirement per annum. When we started talking to Low Carbon West Oxford, we really had two major areas to explore. One was solar panels uh, on, school, on school roofs uh, and uh, the possibility of wind turbine power on site. We looked at our area, our geographic area, and we said, what what natural resources have we got? We've got lots and lots of big roofs in our area. We chose solar to start off with because it's the easiest technology by far to get from a standing start to installation. Uh, if you've got the funding available, you can do that within about six months. Low Carbon West Oxford started by consulting with the community, holding an open day so that everybody who wanted to could come along and feed in as to what was most important to them. Um, and following on from that, we, we engaged all the net networks that people in the group were involved with already. And so we got lots of feedback about what people wanted. I'm Andrew Webster, I'm uh, Assistant Head at Matthew Arnold School. We've had um, meetings where we've had the local community in to discuss what our plans are and universally the, the solar panels have been well received. They've, they've been very keen on those. Um, we've also got proposals along for wind technology and um, the response to that has been more equivocal. Some people have been in, in favour and some against, but the solar panels, everybody has said, yeah, that, that's a good idea. We did have to make planning applications for all of our projects so far. Solar PV projects on non-domestic buildings have to have planning permission, whereas on domestic buildings it's permitted development now. And so that means that you have to build in the time for preparing the planning application and for the time that the council takes to determine it. Um, and the, the sort of statutory time for that is eight weeks. So don't forget when you're planning your project that you, you do have to overlay that eight weeks in it. We lease the roof from the County Council. So our solicitor develops a lease. We agree the heads of terms for that lease with the building owner before the lease is drafted. The solicitor for the school 
agrees that lease and then we sign it. Uh, we have to have an exact plan of the roof with exactly where the solar panels are. Um, so you do have to have somebody there who can produce that sort of drawing. And because the lease is for 25 years, because that's a projected or guaranteed life of the uh, solar PVs, that means that the lease has to have a land registry approval for it as well, which means that you have to have a plan which is land registry compliant. So it has to be to scale, it has to be based on an ordnance survey map and all of that sort of thing. The lease also includes within it the method of work and the risk assessment for when the installation is done. And it also covers what happens if either side want to finish the arrangement before the end of the term and what happens at the end of the term. The renewables market is still not well known by insurance uh, people in this country. And then if you add on the sort of community ownership element of it, they go, ooh. Um, and bearing in mind as well that we've got to have not just insurance to cover if something happens to the panels themselves, but we have to have public liability. Eventually we got it, it took us about two months when we thought it was going to be just, you know, really, and it was two hard months of somebody hanging on the phone, really um, trying to work it out. But having got the first one for our first little roof, we've been able to add to it. And even better for this installation, the school have said, well, we'll just add the cost onto our own buildings insurance and you pay us the difference. So it's a matter of, you know, a few pounds. The initial funding uh, for these first projects, we've been very lucky to get a uh, Low Carbon Communities Challenge grant from the Department of Energy and Climate Change. Um, and that was um, over £700,000, which uh, is not available to all communities. And you know, we're really grateful for that. Um, it's allowed us to do a lot more of our pipeline of projects very quickly so that we can test out the reinvestment model you know, what we really need to get back into low carbon West Oxford to make the best carbon returns. What we're thinking about for the future, obviously, is going beyond grant funding. Our idea was always that we wouldn't rely on public grant funding. The benefits to the school are uh, partly cost, which uh, is, is one I was interested in as business manager, in that we get a slightly reduced uh, electricity rate by using solar power on site and also for the curriculum where we can show students uh, how renewable energies work, uh, what the benefits are and so on. We're doing this to get an income stream and uh, there are two elements to that. There's the um, payment that we get from the building owners for the electricity and then there's the feed-in tariff. For this array we'll get a feed-in tariff rate of 31.4 pence which will give us an income of about £27,000 a year. What we're going on to next is um, setting up our next pipeline of projects, including our micro hydro project, which we hope to build next summer, and a range of new uh, solar PV projects. And so we'll be really proving uh, the concept of our share offer, getting enough equity in so that um, we can raise um, loan finance to go with it, with, with it uh, without drowning the project in debt. So we've still got some pro profit coming through from those projects to invest in our community. Alongside that, we're also looking at the possibility of moving beyond West Oxford and becoming a social enterprise which works with other communities. Quite ha what that means yet, we don't know, but we've got some resource coming in to help us investigate the different business models by, by which we might do that to see if it's a viable op option, and that's really exciting. <laughs>